Hi, it's Tanya here. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to blow dry my hair today. Someone asked me, um, how do you style your hair? So we're going to do that. We'll do our 30 days of greatness first, though. Let's see if I can pull a different one this time. You don't have to be perfect to be amazing. That's a good one. I love it. All right. All right, so let's get started. Um, I'm just going to blow dry. If you don't mind the noise, you can turn it down. I'm just going to show you how I blow dry my hair. Um, if you have fine hair and you want more body to your hair, I would recommend using a mousse. This is White Rain. It's cost a dollar. It's a very lightweight way to put some volume in your hair without it weighing your hair down if you have fine hair, okay? So that's a great thing. Um, there's other hair products. Mousses are kind of from the 80s or whatever, but I still like them because they deliver a very light, oops, sorry about that. They deliver a very light product um, and it won't weigh um, thinning hair down so um, but it'll give you body if you want more body to your hair I would use that because um, otherwise products get too heavy um, I use my ion blow dryer which is really inexpensive it's a real small travel size um, blow dryer and I love it um, I've I had the um, very expensive dry bar uh, blow dryer that was over $200 and you know what honestly I like this one better so I don't waste your money on expensive blow dryers this has ion technology as well as the other ones do and I don't really even know that it really does anything but I use it on high and it gives me a really super quick blow dry so because my hair isn't colored anymore I don't have to worry about damaging it per se um, so I just use it on high and away we go. And I'm using this brush here. I got this at Ulta. Use the hair in there. What type of brush? I'll put all this down in the description box below. So round brush. I love these brushes because this is a highly venting brush. See all the air that can pass through there? And it's going to give me straightness in my bob rather than a curl. I don't want too much curl, but you can go like this and curl it under, which I'm going to be doing. Um, you can also separate your hair with clips first and curl under the back first and then release some and curl some more under. But this is how I'm going to do it, and I'm just going to blow dry it on camera, so excuse the noise. And you'll get to see what I do here. All right, here we go. Oop.
Okay, that's it. So it's completely dry. It was fast, wasn't it? Because I was going to buy the, um, what is that? Really expensive blow dryer, but you don't need to do that. Not necessary. And I'm using my Conair Pro here, and then I just go through and straighten this out. I have natural wavy hair. It's not curly, but it's wavy. And you might notice that your hair changes texture as you get older, um, where you might not have had curlier hair, or wavier hair. You know, sometimes the hormones change things a bit as well. So I just straighten it real quick. That's kind of what I do. It's pretty simple. I do have to straighten it though. Now that it's a little bit longer, it's a little bit easier to straighten. Um, when it's shorter, if you have long hair and you cut your hair short, you might also go curly too, which will be, in, which for some is like, I've seen people, they cut their hair short, they have really long hair and the weight of the hair pulls it down, but then suddenly they go shorter and then their hair is like curlier and it's more, you have to straighten it then, so but it seems like mine is seeming to relax these days. And I think the clarifying shampoo really helps too because it keeps the gook out, so it keeps it light and fluffy, you know? Because you weigh it down, like with Pantene. Pantene's known for high wax. They, you know, they have a lot of stuff in their products. I don't know what they put in there, silicone, whatever. And uh, it can really, really weigh your hair down. That's why I like to clarify, and I do it often. I generally wash my hair every other day, so I let the natural oils build a little bit. That's always a good thing. So I'll wear it down after I wash it. I wear it up. And that's it. So that's kind of what I do, and I straighten it. Did you see how fast that it was? If When I use the dry bar... Um, really expensive blow dryer, which I ended up giving to my friend. Um, it took forever. It was like 20 minutes drying. This one dried so much faster. And then I thought, well, I wanted to get a Dyson, you know, but I don't want to spend four or 500 bucks. So I got this little mini for like 20 bucks at Sally's Beauty Supply. And I, I do it on high, like I said, and that, that basically handles it for me, so. And um, just on a normal day, I like to put my um, hair, front hair out of the way. So when I'm doing this, it's not in my face or in my mouth. So I just grab a little piece here, I do a little twist, and I just take a bobby pin. And I just, I have thin, thin hair. So you thick girl, thick ladies out there with thicker hair, this may not work, but I just put this back for get it out of my way so that's better that's usually how I wear it like that and then I hit it with the shine spray which I absolutely love if you don't have any of this you should try it um, the fruity sleek um, it really watch what it does with see how it just shines the gray hair makes it pretty all right thank you so so much for watching um, maybe I'll do more hair things I'll think of more stuff to do. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day or evening, and we'll catch you next time. Bye.